welcome back to Gabino Games and today it's time for another Guardian Guild War this time against Tao Mayo and we're going to test out units that have recently been modified I wouldn't say buffed but modified so let's see if the modification was good for them or not good for them now let's hit this highest health plus 2 tower from I love you 3000 now let's see what we can play with here okay I'm thinking let's bring in Eladriel with Skogul and then let's go check out Praha now Praha's third skill the daydream was modified where after she heals all allies and puts herself to sleep she puts all enemies to sleep for one turn with a 50% chance Let's play around with it. Um, let's bring in our Despair Nemesis Praha against this Molong Aranis Perna. This is going to be a bit risky because the only damage dealer we have is going to be Skogul. <laughs> but, yeah, let's have fun. Let's see how we do. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Aranis is gonna go for Praha as well because she's water. And then Molong isn't going to attack Eladriel or Skogul, so... <laughs> yep, he's gonna be taking a lot of damage. Let's see how we do. Now for this second team, I'm going to bring in our Bulwark, Emilia. And then, let's bring in our Fang Yen. I recently changed my Fang Yen to Defense, Defense, Defense. Um, previously, he was on HP, Defense defense so now you'll see that defense at 2000 plus 2000 yeah I put that number two rune on Eladriel so always remember if you're going to build a bulwark put him on shield will so he gets enough stacks at the beginning of the fight for his forbidden galder okay let's go there goes Mo Long there goes Let's try out Daydream and heal Raha. Okay. Puts that Molong to sleep. Now. <laughs> um, should we heal Skogul? No, not yet. Of course, Forest of Living. There's Atlas Stone. Oh, Violent Proc. Wow, stuns. And stuns. And Valent again. Oh man. <laughs> he just got. Okay, can we strip? No strip. Oh no. Um, heal up, Skogul. Oh, there goes Praha. <laughs> okay, let's revive Praha with Archangel's Mercy. Okay, nice Valent, Brock. Wow, stun again. Okay. Um, why am I always stunned, bro? Weird despair. Can we stun? No stun. And he goes into violent. And there goes Praha again. <laughs> um. Yeah, we have to heal up. Ooh, that Taranis packs a punch. Well, I'd say, I guess it's good that Praha, you know, that additional turn is actually a buff on Praha, in my opinion, because before Daydream was just like, you know, she's just gonna put herself to sleep. So at least now, all enemies have a chance to be put to sleep. For one turn. And GG. <laughs> hey. Okay. Now let's test out our newly built Fang Yen. Uh, I'm not gonna put the buff on first because we're gonna do Calm Mind. And then. Yeah, I'm gonna save Forbidden Galder for that Atlas Stone to land. 
Okay, now we're gonna do a defense buff. Hey. Okay, there goes Aegir. Ouch. Can we freeze? Nice freeze. Now we're gonna go for the heal to save our Emilia. Nice damage from Fang Yen though. Very good. Yeah, the thing with, I know, when you're gonna build like a defense based monster, of course, once their defense broken, they're gonna be squishier than squishy. <laughs> yeah, let's heal up. How much? Yeah, nice. Yeah, but again, of course, our Fong Yen or Fong Yen is a defense-based monster. So the more da the defense he has, the more damage he makes. Okay, boom! <laughs> okay, how many additional turns do you want, Skogul? Don't worry, you're gonna be hit a lot of times. So once you throw that Atlas Stone, you're gonna get all those cooldowns off. That is if you survive. My defense built. Fong Yen. <laughs> okay. Draw. <laughs> okay, let's go hit another high health tower. Yen Lang. Okay now, um, for the first round, I'm thinking, yeah, let's bring in our Lucian with Galleon. Galleon, Frigate, and Lucian. We're just gonna outspeed them and hopefully kill them. Here's my Lucian, Rage Blade. Alright, and then of course Galleon, Violent Revenge. Now, we're just gonna cleave that first round, and then for the second round, let's bring in another modified unit. Um, of course we can go... I mean, this is going to be easy, Balberg, Emilia, Skogul, or whatever, but let's play around with... Let me think. Someone who was recently buffed. Um, here's another combo, of course, that you can do with this. Like, just bring in Molong, and then that Nemesis, Arnold, and then Molong's just gonna go for Arnold, and then once that happens, you can just kill that Molong, of course, with Arnold's extortion. But we're gonna make this a bit exciting and bring in the newly buffed Laika. My, with the justice, damage increases according to the number of dead allies. And of course, it's buffed where it ignores all damage reduction effects on the enemy. Now I'm thinking, yeah, maybe if Jean puts on that invincibility, you can push through or kill or whatever. Um, yeah, and then let's bring in another one. Yeah, we can do this, but yeah, where's the fun in that, right? How about let's use the dark vampire, Agar, Airgar. Yeah, where is my Airgar? How about Veramos? No runes on Veramos, so that's a no-no. Um. Yeah, Irgar. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's dangerous, to be honest, because that Juno is just going to strip our beta. And then, once she strips, John's going for the provoke. And then Molong's, of course, going to hit Laika. Um, even though he does reckless assault, he's going to be keep hitting onto Laika and then once he get, gets a defense break on our Laika Juno is gonna go for Laika so okay 
full speed ahead. Time to loot. Can we kill here with amputation magic? Okay, at least we killed that Ciara. Which is good. And which is fine. Um, let's just go kill this Iris before st stun. Okay, defense break. Reduce attack bar. And kill. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> uh, full speed ahead. And kill. Alright. Okay, here comes Airgar with <laughs> like a Oh, didn't st didn't strip. Didn't provoke. Time to blood contract. Okay, how much damage can we do with just this? On to Juno. Twenty k. Yeah, thing is, um, I didn't bring in defense break. <laughs> yeah, I think we should have brought in defense break. Uh. Yeah, let's weaken attack power and decrease attack speed of this Molong. Well, of course, stuns my Laika. And there goes Provoke. Oh man, look at all those dots. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, Eirgar is not a good player versus player uh, monster. Well, I'll try to figure out what team to bring with him, but he's more for player versus enemy, like when you're farming or, you know, playing against the computer. Alright, let's go hit Sayo, the highest health plus 3 tower. And every time I see this combo, I'm thinking, let's bring in Mei Yu Wong, the newly, I would say buffed. Yeah, because Mei Yu Wong previously didn't have like in increased resistance on his gold headband passive, but now it's buffed, right? Where he increases attack power and resistance by 5% resistance and then 20% attack power every time he he's attacked and it's accumulated up to 10 times and then of course we're gonna bring in Arena to tank that Ciara and then the team below we're just going to cleave them with our Zyros um, I'm bringing in the speed lead from Galleon so to make, to make sure that we outspeed that Orion. Okay. Let's go have fun. Now, of course. Yep. I don't know about resistance. Like, maybe they could have just changed it to, like, I don't know, defense or something, right? Or increases crit rate. Or buffs attack power, no, not 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 anymore attack power. Like I don't know, like speed or something. Because resistance, I don't know. I mean, do you really need increased resistance on Mei Yuang? I don't know. I don't. Well, what? Uh, <laughs> you know, he's a what do you call it? A defense-based monster, right? So. Maybe increase defense or something, you know, because you already can resist inability effects. And I think a resistance buff on him doesn't really do much for him. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, so you see my gold headband passive already at plus 10. 
Um, my Mayu Wang is not really built for 100% resistance. So technically, you can put 50% resistance on him, and then that golden headband would give him like additional 50% when it reaches like that plus 10 level. Yeah. Okay, looking at the speed of this team, we'll have to take out that John first. Because, yeah, we, we can try killing or defense breaking this Ciara, but Ciara keeps shaking it off because every time she gets or she puts on that bomb, she gets another turn. And then she pretty much just shakes off the defense break. Hmm. But of course, they can't really do much damage on us because we have our Rakuni cleansing whatever, like removing that bomb on Rina, and then Ciara's just gonna keep hitting our Rina. Let's try to. Oh, okay. Provoked. Invincibility. Mm hmm. Shakes it up. Bomb Trina. <laughs> I think we can pretty much auto this in. I don't know. But Mei Yu Wang isn't doing enough damage on that um, Jean. But it's a good thing that we have a destroy rune set on our arena. Of course, if you're going to build arena, you have to put destroy runes on it. Because that's just going to help you for these long fights. And 15 minutes later, we've destroyed <laughs> the health of this John. And that makes her a very squishy target. Boom, nice stun. So that's a violent nemesis, John. Okay, let's give the turn to Mei Yu Wong. And can we kill? Yes, we can. Man. Yeah, um, the thing with this team is, you know, uh, yeah, not much damage from Mei Yu Wang. I don't know, maybe that gold headband passive would have been something else and not resistance because yeah he's a defense based monster an attack based monster and I don't know if that's useful maybe in raids maybe yeah I use Mei Wong in raids as a tank I mean I don't do the the Balagir fast run R5 um, but yeah, we'll do that. It's just that, you know, it's you need three Balagirs with all those, um, what do you call this, fight runes. And, yeah, I usually use placements, so. Anyway. With this Iris gone, it's a GG, of course. <laughs> three versus one. No way, dude. Okay. Now, Winds of Change. Time to loot. Nope. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that Orion cut in. Oh. <laughs> anyway, good thing Mei Wang, Rakuni, Rina did the trick. Because <laughs> I really didn't expect that Orion to cut in. Yeah. Well, of course, this is a legend guild, and you know, Taumeo is a very OP guild to start testing these monsters on, but you know, it's a game and we're here to have fun, and I hope you had fun with me. <laughs> or it's either, you know, you're like, yeah, you lost, or whatever. <laughs> I hope you learned or enjoyed the thing or two watching the video. Now here's a brief recap of our monster builds, um, especially the ones who were recently modified. Again, here's Praha, Speed HP HP, 
and of course daydream is the skill that was modified okay and then let's go check out Mei Yu Wang okay here's Mei Yu Wang as you can see here the gold headband passive has been modified and then of course Laika Laika among the other dragon knights yeah I'll show you another preview of the patch at the end of the video in case you haven't seen it now here's Irgar so now it's a three turn attack power buff and a blood contract buff okay where's Laika okay there's Laika and of course Justice man I still miss Laika in the good old days when he, w he used to stun every time he revenges or every time his passive the noble blood passive activates and that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content and like what we always do may the force be with you See you on the next one. As promised, here's the monster balancing and improvements patch. After this, I'm gonna show you a short summoning session. Let's see what MB5 we can pull. Wish us luck and salute!